What's poppin' everybody? Welcome back to the brand new episode of Sherlock Holmes The Awakened, the brand new game, the brand new Sherlock Holmes we've been through. We're not in the asylum, which is a part three or part four, but I'm not really sure. I don't <laughs> I can't tell you for sure, but what I can tell you for sure is the serial is crazy. Thank you so much for crazy support. Please hit the sub button so we can pass at 7,000 subscribers on the YouTube. Um, because why, why the heck not? So, let's get back to the story where we stopped the last time with these crazy people. So, if I'm not mistaken, oh god, this is always buggy when I open the book when the first time I open the game. But, uh, seeking help from Watson, we did that, and now we have this one, which is. Watson must be in guest room that is besides Gygax's office. Perhaps he could acquire the key and use the kitchen dump waiter to deliver it down to the storage room. The patient who claims to be Napoleon Bonaparte could help. Freeing him could create enough of a distraction to find and contact Watson on the ground floor. Amazing. So I think he is Na Napoleon Bonaparte. Ah, oh goodness. Let's see approximately how this would go. Oh damn, I missed. I think the last one goes for three and the, uh, the second one for two. So one. Maybe like that. Or one more. No, I think it should be good. Perfect, let's go. We got it done, boys. You can return after leaving. Ah, uh -huh, so that's gonna be the next chapter, I assume. I'll just see if it's possible to... Ah, uh -huh, so I can't do much. Okay, so that's basically what I have to do. Okay, boys and girls, let's go for it then. Let's see what's popping. And I'm pulling my part of it for yourself up. At last, you came to your senses. My humble apologies, Emperor. Spam your groveling, Englishman. <laughs> <laughs> you are right, as ever, for you see, time is of the essence. The royalists have risen again, and your darling Josephine needs you. Paris needs you. Remember? But the guards upstairs in reception stand in your way. Ha! They will pose no problem for the likes of me. Merci, Englishman. <laughs> you return to Les Tuileries, I shall make you a general. Oh, you are too kind, Emperor. Now go. Your freedom awaits. Jesus! My goodness gracious, this game, man. <laughs> and there's Watson. Over here, Holmes. What are you doing here? And where did you get that outfit? It is unimportant. I require your assistance. What has happened, Holmes? I need an explanation. It's quite simple. I created a distraction so that I could tell you something you want, and in turn, I need you to acquire something important for me. How can you call any of this charade simple? Watson, we can discuss this later. Time is of the utmost importance. The kidnapped people may still be here. This is what I know so far. What? You really found all this on your own? Focus, Watson. I need you to find the key that will be most unique. All the details are in my notes. Logic dictates that Gygax will keep it near her. Quiet, you must get it to me. Perhaps the kitchen dumb waiter could be of use. Holmes, I I can't do this. I'm no spy. Yes, you can, Watson. You are unfailingly dependable. <laughs> You're like, yes, you can, Watson. You have to do it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's Welcome, amazing. Watson. Visitors are not permitted back here. I am terribly sorry, Mr. Coates. After the war, my nerves, I uh, I fled all that commotion. It is nothing. A brief difficulty to escape. He will not get far. Now, if you would like to follow me. Of course. Okay. Fuck. Oh, this is where I'm at. The Sherlock's note. Okay, so I have a gun here. Oh, that's my gun. Perhaps I should take this. Oh, I don't really need it. It probably would. It probably would also have needles. I have all these doctor equipment. And I have some graffiti here. Heidi. Oh, goodness. I don't have the power that Holmes has. The reason to hang something this harrowing here would be to create another patient. 
Yeah, that's where the homes was for a moment or so. Damn, homes are crazy, man. Okay, but the note we have: you must acquire a key for me, Watson. Odds are in uh, uh, odds are it's a round item about two inches in diameter, which with the image of an Edelvis flower. A patient named Gerda has in, informed me that Gygax will keep it close. I suggest I suggest investing her office. How the fuck am I gonna get to the office of a Gygax? She's the craziest bitch ever. Oh goodness! I think they're all like nuts here, right? Or I'm tripping. Miss? Ah, he's she's just crazy. <laughs> I want them to fly. Whatever. I hear them scratching. Don't you hear it? No, I don't hear it, man. I I just don't. I don't want to. Oh, the guard, the block B is here. That's crazy. Also, damn, what a crazy. So. But we've been to Block B, but this kitchen might... Uh, maybe I can kill him in disguise. Uh, I'm not sure how I'll wear female clothes though, but it still can be up somewhere. Can I enter here? Oh, the kitchen down waiter. Oh. oh, that's where we have to go. Okay, that's where we have to put a key, but we have to find the key first in the office of Gaiax. And that's the bingo. Ah, Dr. Watts. Just the man I wanted to see. Professor, I'm surprised you're not trying to catch that SKP. Please, my time is up. I hope Nurse Kunz has been taking good care of you. He has certainly kept me out of trouble. Professor, it is time for your appointment with your next patient, Mr. Wolf. Herr Wolf can wait until tomorrow. I wish to speak with Dr. Watts. Uh, as you wish. You still see patients yourself, even as the director of this entire facility? Only the improvement ones, and yet I rarely go to pick the brain of a man like yourself. I think it is time you got to know each other, no? I'm afraid there's not much to know. I'm just an average chap, living a rather prosaic life these days. Dr. Watson, those of us who pursue knowledge are anything but average. Now, who are you? A doctor. I'm a physician in search of a stimulating career. I have patients, yes, but admittedly, I'm more interested in the cutting edge of medical research. So when I read about the Black huh. Rites and your work on their healing the minds, I simply had to learn more. I suppose my able advice was always destined to attract other curious minds. But yeah. before we continue, I want you to understand one thing. A broken mind can never be turned good. Ah, I see. So what exactly do you do here? It is simple. If you cannot fix a person's nature, you must... Oh! Surely there are other methods of treatment. How naive. You remind me of a man I once knew. Professor Wolfram. But he did not speak of me anymore. A colleague? The former director here. One day he realized that Edelweiss is out of all his life. What's popping with me? Am I okay? I was simply admiring your office, Professor. Apologies. While I am pleased you appreciate the practicality and adherence, we were discussing bigger things. Was my conversation boring you? No, not at all. I, I merely... No, no. I understand you are right. You're not seeking conversation. What do you mean? Your mind craves truth, but not in this way. You must witness a practical demonstration if you are to learn. I'm certainly intrigued. Would that be possible? Of course. I propose a journey between the gym of the human brain. You will not live without any truth in your life. Kunz, take Dr. Watson back to the courtyard. Then tell the nurses to prepare the Heidi. I will come to you soon. How the fuck am I supposed to? I hope everything is to your liking, Doctor Watson. It is, but how do I steal the key? Wolf is an important patient uh, to Professor Gygax. 
The current director of the Black Elderly, she seems to disapprove of the previous director, Professor Becker, and clearly believes herself to be intellectually superior. Despite being an actor, she's still treating patients, it's if only the important ones. A patient called Wolf is among them. Gaga does not intend to leave her office at any time soon. Oh. How to lure Gaga out of, of her office? I have no idea. Um, patient hates guards. Maybe... I have no idea how to do it though. Nothing of these. I reckon that we had a, yeah, sure. That's what I'm right for sure. Only this one matches. Damn, what the fuck? None of the matches! Well, this is only. It, this is the last thing, but I don't, uh, I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah. Wow, why does Gaia X care about. Guards. Let's see, Heidi has some money, but I don't know. One matched, okay, which is good. Guard at the stony, maybe. Black Elderly is a very important patient, I assume, is gonna be the thing. 99% sure. All other guys should have known. Okay, alert. <laughs> Medical evaluation, I assume. None of them. Well, I don't think any of these are gonna match anymore, though. Yep. Yeah, working down beta for sure has a connection with why this guy a guy X care about the wolf. For sure, yeah. That's what I'm saying. So we can't do much. What the fuck? That's that's gonna be hard. Guest room. I think I've been there. No, I wasn't. Oh that's the room I've been to, okay. Well let's explore more of these. Oh she's also crazy. Yeah, I'm just so sure. Damn, they're all crazy shit. Administration. Oh, if they caught me here, I'm fucked. Yep. Damn. October guy gets patient reports. There's more surgery in this during my special patient wolf will be transferred to patient room. Two on the ground floor. All other patients must be removed from my schedule and reassigned to other specialties at the institute. Why is this happening? What the fuck? This patient's sorry, mental state uh, requires constant monitoring and immediate intervention to avoid undesirable consequences. December 1899. Necessary uh, surgical producer specific recovery to the person where loss is increased. And complete a new obsession with writing has developed probably as a side effect. Oh man, it's clear sign for partial memory recovery. Unacceptable result. A second surgery is required. You can go with the frontal and temporal lobes. Surgery went well. The patient's memory does not persist for longer than a couple of minutes. All through obsession with writing and linger So I mean daily monitoring. Oh. Huh. Yeah, they are. So basically, damn. <clears throat> of course, I can't enter it though. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Jesus. But I've been there. Let's see if there's anything else in the, uh, here that we can check out. While we are here, I don't think there is anything. No, I haven't. Sorry. <laughs> That's funny. 
Oh, that's where I have to be. Who are you, though? This area is off limits. A patient has escaped. This is where the wolf is, right? <gasps> that's wolf. Patient poetry. Oh, beautiful alpine flower whose heart is uh, is uh, who heart I do miss. So you call. So you call to me while I don't see how much I let you go. The storm cuts through my senses, makes all my thoughts so blind. With no captain, I miss a reason. What did they truly find? Cold and dark, with grimy walls, uh, roughly held like animals. Trapped yet free, why do I fall? Something screams on the tip of the tongue, but what can it be? What did I forget? He's basically telling himself that he forgot about stuff. You He's both. He's gonna go nuts. Mr. Wolf. Oh, hello. Who might you be? We... We just went over this. I'm sorry, but I don't think... Eh? We were just discussing this facility, the Black Edelweiss Asylum, and why you are here. Does that name does sound familiar? Those are things I do not familiar with. <laughs> who are you? And who's this Holmes fellow? I am Dr. Watson. Holmes is... I'll call him my imaginary friend. That's just... Am I here, Doctor? Am I sick? I'm sure I can take a look. Observe. Damn, he's really nuts. One side is one one side is paralyzed. Okay. He has a scarf. Brain surgery processes and inspections, yeah. He's smoking. Faded with age. Oh, Possible abuse of medicine. An adult male with two deep surgical scars on the side of his head and an and an old chemical burn on one of his hands. Mr. Wolf has some paralysis of facial muscles and blue gray pigmentation spots on his skin. These Symptoms are most likely pre existing and in no way. No, I, I appreciate this. Why they wanted to. Why is he so important? I mean, it's logical. He's. He was really important to them for some reason. He's just out of... What? What type of asylum this is? This is the... February, October. In a couple of minutes, I'll turn an obsession writing. strikes. Oh... Why does that... Care about the wolf, patient wolf, patient's poetry. I assume I don't know. I'm still missing one more. Guys, patient reports. I assume. Bingo. He's Professor Becker. Whoa. I would have never thought about it. Uh, 
Very important patient. He's back to the second guy, Gax. Does it still bright? Perhaps you can get guy and show me that letter. Bro! He is back and he kind of did a surgeon or surgeries on him because she was so obsessed about being a director, being. S what the fuck? Any more questions? Good heavens, sir. You're as mad as they come. Alan written by Becker. Damn, he's Professor Becker. That's crazy. That's crazy. But how do I give it to her? I really get that I let my beautiful love and lover fall under your influence. I see that you never deserve to sit as the director of the Black Elderies. You will be brought to justice and the world will know your cruelty. And by the time you make it myself, the police will already know the truth of how you became director of the asylum, Professor Becker. She really brainwashed him. That's crazy. You must acquire a key for me. Okay, so I guess I have to go to Becker at some point, but I'm not really sure how. But uh, I guess that's how we should do it. No kitchen. Okay, beautiful. Nice. I ha I have to be really fast. A key, a key, a key, a key, a key. No, fuck, that's not a key. That's a knife. Close, but I don't think this is the key needed. Mm -mm, this is too small to be what Holmes asked for. It has R, and the vast selection broken minds. The work ahead will be difficult. The R guys important for some specific reason. Can we open these? We can, nice. Oh, but we need a key. No, we don't. Oh, nice. Whoa, all the important stuff. The professor wishes to take passion of a collection of rare gems and may help with of your mutual acquiring the, the gems have uh, now been. Sold to Zen who made several offers, producing our experts 
estimate of the stone's value. The final sale price decided upon for the one James was Swiss francs. Our cl uh, client has increased the uh, to this sum. As per usual, as always, our uh, direction is assured and we look over to continue business with you and your illustration patron. You are seriously Jeffrey Scott, a presenter of the EV Gray Banking House, New Orleans, USA, January 9th. Okay, but whoa. Is that a key? Could be. Nice. Perfect. Well, we got everything we need. But why didn't he just close the stuff there? Okay, now I have to go to the kitchen and give him this. Which is just in the next room. And nobody's here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nice. Let's see what's happened with this one then. And if I'm not, if I'm not mistaking, uh, the Gygax is gonna... Oh, okay. Uh, I'll just see the cutscene. <gasps> but they're gonna take Heidi and the girl with them. That's the problem. Okay, now we know where it is. Black Eldith to be secret. Sealed tight. I can't exit the same way. That's the hell door. Whoa! They're all locked here and they're all learning some stupid stuff. The writing is mostly gone. Phonetic symbols, perhaps. What the fuck is this? I'm gonna take it. Oh, a bunch of blood. Two? It's broken two thighs for much. You know? Tooth of an adult male likely lost in a beating. Only a couple of days old. That's crazy, bro. Also chain. Broken one. Or still chain born. Yeah, so the person kind of beat him down if he couldn't remember the words or something like that. I'm not really sure how, how it goes, but it is it is scary after all. This shell Holmes is the scariest one I've played so far. They're all nuts. <gasps> Fuck, I got scared of this shit. Is this a lift? An elevator, I assume. I'm not a professor, trust my guy, the light of the abyss uh, for the shell enlighten our chosen ones. Make sure he's presenting that our chosen utter nothing but the scared words. Just for begin and we will be an inch closer to the universe beyond. Our work is essential as many of our flock do not speak our language and time is of the essence. It would be best to work in groups, performing at least one cent per day for a week of Curse. Oh, that's when they learn the thingies and they get beaten down if the person doesn't want to, well, say it. And the, the stranger voices that Heidi was talking about are these ones. Them. Uh, of course, the most skeptical uh, members have to be tamed by your hands. In the meantime, my work continues on a physical method to maintain the trend state through the uh, emitted light waves of colored lenses. Finally, my men in New Orleans regarded are getting the new shipment of Chosen. Make room for them as you have done before. I think 11 gems are basically 11 people. That's like code and name of what is happening here. And that's R. That's kind of my point of view. I think that's what it, what's happening here. So I think those 11 gems and the 11,000 are basically sold people. So they're maybe making them nuts or I'm not sure what it is, but it's just crazy. 
The bank has the gems. My master has ordered me to send the first shipping of chosen ones. They will arrive within two weeks. Do not fall us. That's what I'm saying. So gems are there. And A. So they're all in, 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 in codes. Like I and, uh, and R. I don't know. Uh, Professor Guy is the new method at least started to show progress. The success rate is 4 out of 10. Oh, and the failures are not responding to any external stimuli. Nevertheless, the phonetic system can be declared uh, an undeniable success. Regardless of their native language of or place of origin, individuals learn to speak the chant without flow. They learn it quickly and fluently, despite lacking all mental autonomy. Jesus Christ, this is just crazy mentally. Uh, I regret that one of the chosen uh, continues to resist inflation and the deprivation result in a strengthening of their disobedience. Negotiation only ignited anger, and even after direct removal of the frontal and thermal laws, it seems all that was left was an intent desire to resist. The chosen one cannot be allowed to pollute the minds of the others. The conclusion is inescapable. They cannot continue to live if they see they are sent to the well. This is basically the same thing that is happening in the real life, you know what I'm saying? So people are just brainwashing you and when they brainwash you, basically what's so important is that the one, the chosen one, who wants to resist can create a, a revolution if the if his voice gets to the other people's mind. So if everybody realizes they are being brainwashed, then they cannot attack the one who is brainwashing them because it's more of them than him. So the, that's kind of what it goes like. It's also a black LB secret. Oh, it 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 has to do with the birds. A very professional brain dissection. Damn. Interesting. Dynamo machine provides electrical stimulation for the person in the chair. Ah, so they're being basically electrocuted. Impossible to escape. Okay, so they're basically torturing people here. That's kind of what it is. Well, I don't want to go there anymore. I want to get back and check out the other places of this. Then go down there where it's super scary. Uh, just in case there is nowhere else to go. Well, that's going to be it. We have a well. Oh. I think they're all dead here. They're chopping their head off, probably. Maybe I don't know. The remnants of blood and flesh, these instruments were used for dismemberment. Dear God, is that body parts? Yeah. Utterly inhuman. I'm assuming. Well, my logic here is if the member who's doing the things on his mind is disobedient or he doesn't want to listen or doesn't want to learn or wants to create a revolution. That's how, how they go crazy, I assume. Okay, interesting, interesting, okay. So my logic is that's how that they go crazy. We have a key and we have a talk to thing. And there's a guy here. Get out of my head. Who is this guy? Goodness gracious. That's probably why it's called the Awaken, because you have to awake from this pe person. Please, no more, stop it. Watson, John, somebody. What the fuck?
Awakened is probably why it says that. I'm not sure why it's awakened. I mean, I, I, I get the sense. What was this? I think the things changed at this point. No, they're the same. Well, what, did, what, what do I have to do now? I'm not sure where to go. Is that it? That's the all the signs. Yeah, that's the signs we saw when we heard the strange noise in the in the caves. Whoa! This is getting scary, bro. Can we exit? Maybe I had to queue the room that we've been to or something. Huh, I can I can't really talk to them. Hmm. This way, got it. Okay, interesting. Where we are? Bones, what are you still doing? Still? I was trying to find more information. Did you think I was just going to sit in my room twiddling my thumbs? I only asked you to find the key. I had everything else under control. He has crazy looks. Who looks like he saw a ghost. I am fine, Bones. You're hardly fine. You reek of congealed blood and chemicals. You see down there. Never mind me. Where's Gygax? I'm afraid she's over there. I found her like that when I entered. <gasps> what? She was our biggest lead. Yet another wrinkle in our investigation. Oh, she's dead. Hush. Let me think. She's dead, and a puppet. Killed her. Heidi, how did she it end up here? Maybe they wanted to do the operation on a girl and then Heidi killed her. In the eye. Instant death. No traces of blood on her clothes. Must have gotten her white overcoat. Yeah. What the fuck? This is scary, man. Where does the evidence lead next? Okay, so I have three of these. Letter. Letter. New Orleans. New Orleans, I assume. Bank of New Orleans, though. Bingo! I'm freaking good at this shit. New Orleans, yes. Several pieces of evidence now point to New Orleans. It appears that the kidnappers have enlight enlisted the services of the banking house of E.V. Gray to sell gems. For people, I assume. So let's proceed further. New Orleans, it is, Holmes. We got what we needed, Watson. Oh, Watson. This conspiracy reaches further than we thought. I don't suppose you've ever been to New Orleans? You are joking. I seldom do. Let's go. There's no time to waste. Damn crazy guys, crazy. Jesus freaking Christ, this game is getting crazier and crazier. Holmes? You seem troubled. Yeah. Go wrong, they are the first of criminals. They have the nerve and they have the knowledge. 
That woman did not deserve the title. Such casual cruelty for such selfish aims. I knew another man like that once. He treated my mother and perhaps even killed her if anyone knew who asked him. My sincere condolences. Oh. Young, she was just a shadow of herself. The outline of the person I recognized. Lacking all else. She was pushed until she died. Mentally, I assume. Damn, crazy. Oh, he said thank you, John, not Watson, because he always calls him Watson or Dr. Watson. Now he calls him John, which is, you know, you can see the empathy and then, and I don't know. Whoa, we're going to the ship? There's no shame in asking for help, press Z. <laughs> Damn, story is crazy, and I thought it's gonna be ending there, but I still didn't really discover the deepest secrets of it, though. Who are you? You seem quite hot. Chapter 4 The Outsiders. Damn. I think there's six chapters in this game. I don't know quite sure though, or four. I I think it's six or seven. So we are kind of halfway done. Yep. Oh, goodness gracious. It was an accident. It's fine, it's fine. I'll just put everything back. Clear the socks. Ah, fucking hell. Okay, so I have to find a bank. Piece of evidence relating to New Orleans seems to be the kidnaps are using the service of the bank house of PV Great to sell guns. Wait, who is the jeweler seller A? I have no idea. And I have no evidence either to just find the A or the R or whatever. It could be the girl we saw before. I wouldn't be surprised. But I'm just super happy that the new chapter 4 is all sunny. It's beautiful. It's There's no crazy asylums with crazy people screaming or just having those crazy things around there. Just sunny, beautiful, getting on the back. I would love to see criminals killing and robbing and money and not asylums and crazy people talking to themselves. So that's what I'm saying. Thank you all guys so much for watching this episode. If you haven't really, please hit the like and sub button. We are gonna continue, we are gonna continue with the, Sh the Sherlock Holmes, my bad. With Sherlock Holmes The Awakened in the next episode, probably tomorrow. I don't know. Thank you so much for watching the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And thank God the next chapter, chapter four, it's I think gonna be a short one though, because we only have one thing to find who is the seller A. Probably the next is gonna be seller R and then get the pieces together and find the main guy. But thank you so much for watching the episode. If you haven't enjoyed it, please hit the like and sub button. I love y'all guys and thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate you. Shit done a lot. You're the best. And I can't wait to see you in the next one probably tomorrow. If you enjoy Sherlock Holmes The Awakening, please hit the like and sub button. And I cannot wait to see more of you and the more what this game brings. And then after this, we are going for a new game, which is Chapter 1, which is going to be 20 times cooler, I assume, without the asylums and crazy people, just some normal Holmes investigations. Only thing I hate about this game 
is the entire game is only one case which is also cool because the movies are also based on only one case but I would love to see at least two or three cases that can be together make a game longer, make a game cooler but make more cases not only one where it goes to Asylum, to Switzerland, now to New Orleans now at the start we had a bunch of shots, you know uh, starting from like um, uh, uh, the princesses or the queens Servant getting missed, uh, asylum from asylum to these crazy people, crazy people to New Orleans, now banking on gems, and then also the port we've been through with the Roy Shulsby bunch of people. So it's crazy, share a crazy thing, but I would love to have more of them at the same time. And also, I'm really confused what happened with Holmes uh, down there because he saw the same things before, and the place we've been in the previous episode, those crazy mountains are also the same place. You saw right now. So thank you so much, guys. See you next time, probably tomorrow. Love y'all. I appreciate you. Shit out of loud. And see you guys in, in the next time, probably tomorrow. DR Savage, logging out. Peace.